All right, uh, so this is just a quick overview of how the mod works in its current state. This one is, should be at least, the exact version that you guys would get on the Steam Workshop. Uh, so this is just going to demonstrate how to use it um, as the image is, or image as of now, probably isn't very helpful. So in this uh, scenario I have, just in this virtual world, I have a Zeus module and a player. Uh, no other objects at all are in this mission. Uh, and it doesn't matter if you play in single player or multiplayer. Uh, it should save just, uh, excuse me, just the same. Uh, so you'll see when you spawn in, if you're either in single player, you'll always get this option. If you're in multiplayer, you will only get this uh, open save menu option if you're uh, logged in as admin. Uh, or you're the host if you're hosting it from your computer. Uh, so in this case, I'm in single player, so I will open it. Here, uh, you get a few options. Uh, or buttons at least. Um, first thing I would recommend doing anytime you're about to save is clearing the save. Uh, this will remove any data in the save files. Uh, that way you're not appending to them because when you click the save button it's just going to add the data. It will not overwrite any current data so clearing a save is always recommended. Um, and now I can place some objects in. So these literally can be pretty much anything. I'm just going to go with maybe some AI groups. I'll get like a Polaris, um, some infantry around here. Maybe we've spawned in an FOB. I'll spawn in one of those. It will just wait. We are. And then maybe it is nighttime. So I will skip time about 12 hours. Let's see, I don't know if this affects, ah, it does. I was not aware if it 100% did. And then uh, the last thing I'm gonna do, just to demonstrate the fact that this saves your loadout, I will be uh, just removing my entire inventory. Um, just getting rid of that. Uh, note that this will not save. This is just ground objects. Uh, just for performance reasons, as of now, this will not save. Um, and I will come over here. So, now I'm ready to save. I've got my state. I've finished the mission, done whatever, and I'm ready to go. Uh, I don't have a GPS, so I can't show you, but uh, if I open this thing, we'll see enter distance here. Now this is a number, and it's a radius in meters that you want to save. So in my case, uh, I'm gonna save like 400 meter ra radius. That should fit this FOB over here and the AI, uh, AI that is behind me. Um, just clear save just to make sure, and I will hit save game. You'll see persistent save complete. Um, this will just bring up a little uh, note saying, you know, what is saved and where to find the uh, actual save files. Uh, and now we're ready to uh, load this. So I'm going to restart this mission. This will clear everything I did through Zeus and uh, remove all that. So now you can see there's nothing in this mission. I have my gear, so I'm at my default loadout. And... Uh, there's nothing spawned in. If I now open the save menu and click load game, we can now see persistence load complete. You can see my kit has been set to what it was when I saved. And if I go out into Zeus, you can see our AI groups here. You can uh, see the Polaris we placed and the FOB has spawned in just like it was uh, when I saved. So it also saved my position. I don't know if I noted that, but uh, it did teleport me, I believe, when I saved. It should save the player's position as well. Um, so yeah, this works in multiplayer, single player, uh, whatever. There are some of those limitations. If you want to know those limitations, they can be found in the wiki. Uh, that will be on the Steam Workshop page. Uh, they'll goes over everything. Uh, if you want to add feedback or help improve them on, as this is just the early development release, uh, feel free to DM me or join the Discord and whatever. And I'll do my best to answer all of the uh, questions and provide help for those of you who are uh, testing it out. And uh, yeah, so thank you for watching, and I will see you guys uh, in my next mod release, whenever that is. So uh, there you go.